I wish we had two-way television. I wish I could ask you a question and you could answer me. Or you ask me a question and I answer you. I'd love to be able to say to you, the girl sitting in the beanbag with a pink blouse, I would like you to pick a number between one and a thousand and I'll guess what it is. Or to say the same thing to the 11-year-old boy eating an ice cream, but I can't. So what I'm going to do is to ask our director to pick a number, any number between one and a thousand. He'll pick it out for you and he'll put it up on the screen. I won't know what it is, but you will, all of you out there, and I'll try and guess what it is. Now, have you done that yet, Mr. Director? Uh, yes, I've picked a number. And have you shown it to everybody else? Yes, I have. Okay, you know what it is, I don't. There were a thousand numbers to choose from. How many questions do you think it'll take me to find out your number? You're probably saying, well, if you have a lot of bad luck, it may take you a thousand questions. If you're lucky, it may take you less than that. Probably take you a couple of hundred questions anyway. I say to you, I don't care what number you've chosen, I can find it out in just ten questions. You think that's impossible? All right, here we go. Here's question number one. Is that number that you've chosen between one and five hundred? Uh, no, it's not. I'm sorry, Dad. It's not, all right. Is it between five hundred and one and seven fifty? Uh, no, it's not, sorry. Here's number three. Is it between seven fifty one and eight seven five? Uh, yes, you're right, this time it is. Okay, is it between 751 and 813? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Hmm, we're narrowing it down. Is it between 751 and 782? Uh, no, I'm sorry, not this time. I've used up half of my questions, five. Here comes question number six. Is it between 783 and 798? Uh, yes, it is. Is it between 783 and 790? Very clever, Dan. Yes, it is. Is it between 783 and 786? Uh, yes. I have two questions to go. Is it between 783 and 784? Mm, getting closer. Yes, it is. Here's my last question. Is it 783? Uh, no, it's not. Then it must be 784. So after... Yes. <laughs> I knew it was. Right. Oh, thank you very much. Actually, it didn't matter what number you chose, didn't matter what number our director chose, I would have got to it in 10 questions. Did you work out the method I was using? Well, to begin with, there were a thousand numbers to choose from. But with my first question, is it between one and 500? Didn't matter which way you answered, I knew that I'd narrowed the field to just half. So we started with a thousand numbers, then we went to 500. Then with my next question, narrowed it down to 250 because I said, is it between 501 and 750. And with the next question, down to 125. That was a little difficult because it meant to narrow it to half, I had to, I'd have a fraction if I went to 62 and a half, so I went to 63, which was near enough. And then the next one, I went to 32, which is almost half 63. From then on, it's plain sailing. You halve it each time and you, you get down to 16 numbers, to eight, to four, to two, and eventually down to one number. So it doesn't matter which number your friend chooses, you'll be able to find out what it was, between one and a thousand, with just 10 questions. But here's another problem for you. What if you give them a choice of any number between one and a million? How many questions will you need then to narrow it down and find out the answer?